Yo, what is going on guys? And today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Skywars. So this is a new Skywars plugin that I found and it happens to be really, really awesome. So what you're gonna need is that plugin of course and you're gonna need Vault, which most of you guys probably already have. Besides that you're gonna need a map. So just find any map on the internet or build your own. And let's go ahead and get started with this thing. So it has a lot of features by the way. It has features like kits and voting system. You can vote for OP chest or basic chest. There's signs and there's a feature where you can change your glass color. It's really awesome. So hopefully you guys are down to get this plugin. Let's go ahead and get started. So download the plugin, drop in your plugins folder. Then you should see the Byte Skywars SRC and then the Byte Skywars Multi Arena. So make sure you have that. And then restart your server and after that you should see the Skywars folder. So go ahead and open that up. Now you should see the config which the config isn't much. There's an option where you can change where it lets players destroy blocks or not. So that's up to you. And let's go ahead and go into the glass colors. So here's, it's just a really cool feature where you can change what color your glass is. If you play a lot, then you can earn different glass colors. So the first one is default and it's just gray. So kind of basic there. And they're all in rows. So it starts off on the left, which is slot zero and then one. And if you want a new one, you can make the slot two and then yeah so you can change the name the color everything like that so let's go ahead and create a new one here just to show you guys how it works so copy that format paste the format down now I'm going to make this blue so blue glass and we probably want to change this so and 9 is a good blue color code so that will make it pop out as blue and then the slot we have to move on to 2 and then the color ID so so the color ID is the data value. So 35 is wool, but the color ID is after that. So 11 is for blue. And then there we have it. So let's change this to blue. So what that is, the permission is up here in skywars.glass dot and then blue or red or default. So that's how that works. You can change how many rows there are if you want to have a lot of colors. And that's pretty much it. So go ahead and save this and we'll move on. So like I said, there's even kits that you can change. I don't want to get much into this, but because I'm pretty sure you guys know how kits work and everything like that. But here you can change the how many rows it has, of course, the kit menu, and then all the kits. So the default one is the first one, then after that it's builder, the item that represents the kit in the GUI, the name of it, the slot number that it's in, and all the good stuff like the items and all that stuff. So go ahead and you can change that to whatever you want and then all the chest stuff so basically it's just all the stuff that are in these chests so the OP chests have all these OP stuff and you can change that around if you want so you're gonna also need multiverse core which is a plugin that probably most of you guys already have but it lets you manage your worlds so you can have more than one world and that's what you're gonna need for pretty much any minigame plugin so just drag your Skywars map that you downloaded from the internet or created into your main folder with all the other worlds in it so after that you can go ahead and import the world by typing slash mv import the world name and then normal so that will basically load the map into there so there we go I just loaded it and we can teleport to it with slash mvtp sw1 I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to use multiverse core but just for the new people to it and then here we are in our Skywars map. Keep in mind you're going to also want to have a lobby. So this is the place where the players go to when the game is over. It's also going to have all your join signs here. So just make sure to have chests on your islands if you want chest. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you can change this around. You can make it bigger or smaller. Whatever you want to do. And then after that, we can go ahead and get started. So you want to type the command slash SW create. And that will just create the arena based on the map that we're in. So after that you can add the minimum and max amount of players. So go ahead and count your islands. I have 12 islands, so that's going to be 12 max amount of players. So let's go ahead and type that in. So slash SW max 12. And then well, it will be different for you guys, of course. But for minimum, we can go with 2. And then we can go ahead and add some spawn points. So just hop in these glass chambers or whatever they are. And then just type slash SW add. And that's it. Let me go ahead and mark this so I know this is where I started at. So that's the first one and now we can go ahead and do the same command for all the rest of them. So just type the same command in just like that. And you're going to have to do this for every single one and at the end of it there should be 12 spawn points or whatever your max was set as. Mine was 12 so I should have 12 spawn points. Alright so we're finally done. 
So after that, and if you want to remove one, you can just type slash SW remove. And we are pretty much done. So now let's head into our other world where we have our lobby in. So this right here is the world that I have my lobby in. So what we have to do now is we can stand where we want our players to go to at the end of the game and type slash SW spawn. There we go. So after that, we can go ahead and let's pull a join sign out. So just pull a sign out and place it on the wall. After that, you just want to type bracket SW close bracket in caps and then type the map name. Bam, there we go. So it does a little cool thing there. And that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and hop in this thing. And already we have the player settings where we can change the glass colors. So I actually didn't restart my server, so the blue one's not there. So let me go ahead and do that. So bam, here we are. And we have the red glass right now. And then there is the blue. Pretty freaking sweet. And I forgot to change the bottom text, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and ch bam. Bam, already changed. That is sick. So, what we can do next is we can vote for the OP chest, if we want to have the feature to refill chest, and then the time. So all this is really cool, and let's go ahead and vote normal. There we go. Awesome. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. So had someone else join the game, and the countdown is counting down. You know, that's what countdowns do, but besides that, let's go ahead and check this out. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, so I'm on my little island thingy, and uh, I'm trying to look for the chest. I guess it's downstairs. Yeah, let's go downstairs. What? I already won. Dude, I didn't even get a play. So yeah, all the good stuff was put in the chest, so that, you know, clarifies that you don't have to put anything beforehand. It all does that for you. So yeah, I won the game, because uh, I, I guess he blew up or something. I don't know. Little fireworks going off, that's really cool. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this tutorial though. And if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.